Hello all you Conan Exile fans out there, it's Green and Gamester back with another beginner's guide to Conan and Exiles 3.0 and in today's guide I'm going to be talking about basic building, yeah, in 3.0, what's new and this is going to especially pertain to PlayStation 5 and 4 players because of the controls so you can find out what buttons do what for you. So uh, let's get started. Uh, first of all, we need to get our building, building pieces. So you want to hit your um, touchpad and that will bring up your inventory. And on the very top, you can see we want to scroll over to knowledge. And from there, you want to scroll over to your little hammer. That's going to bring up all your building pieces. And as you can see, we want to click on Apprentice Mason. And on the right hand side, you can see that's going to teach us sandstone foundations, the construction hammer, the repair hammer, and all these pieces to make your first building. Now beyond that, at level 20, you can become a journeyman mason. And then at level 30, you can become a master mason and make all these other different building pieces. But what you need first is the construction hammer. And now that you have learned the sandstone um, building pieces, if you hit your inventory again, and then look on the right hand side under hand crafting, you're gonna see your construction hammer. So go ahead and make that. It's only gonna cost you 20 wood and five twine. And then also make your repair hammer, which is going to cost you, again, 20 wood and 5 twine. So once you have those, you want to put your construction hammer in your quick menu. So go ahead and do that. And you can see I, both, I have both my construction hammer and repair hammer in there. So let's take out our construction hammer. And now that we have it out, you want to hit your L1. And that's going to bring up your menu. And as you can see, I can scroll with my L2 or my R2 across these categories. We have building pieces, which is going to list all the building pieces that you're, you have checked off in your knowledge so far that you have learned how to make. And nothing will show up here until you have reached the level it takes to learn how to make these pieces. Then we have crafting stations. And again, if you hit your L1, you can scroll down through these different uh, crafting stations. And again, this is only the ones that you have learned are gonna show up here. If you can't find a piece, that means you haven't learned it in your knowledge yet. And then if we hit our R2 again, we're gonna go into decorations. And decorations um, has beds and it has storage. Now storage is, that's where you're gonna find uh, your boxes, anything that you could store things in are going to be here. And this is where you're going to make them now. So let's scroll back over to building pieces. Now the first one we wanna make here is the foundation. And as you can see, these are all in green. That's because I have all the pieces it's gonna uh, require to make these. And if I put some of these back in my box, Let's see, let's put back all our branches and I bring this up again. Now you can see all the ones that needed the branches to make are going to show up in red. And that's because I don't have the branches to make them. And it will tell you that on the right hand side. You can see that I have 169 plant fibers and I only need eight to make this particular piece, which is the slope, sloped roof corner. And it's gonna take three branches, but I don't have any branches now in my inventory. So that's how that works. So we're gonna start out with a foundation. We have all the uh, pieces or materials that we need in our inventory. And again, you must have the items in your inventory in order to build with the building hammer. So let's go ahead and hit our X button and that will give us our foundation. Now you can see it right in front of us here. Now, if I want to rotate this, I just hit my R2 and my L2, and that'll rotate it. Now, if we want to move it up and down, you want to just tap your down button on your directional pad, and then hit your R2 and your L2, and that will raise and lower that pleat piece. If you're holding down too long on that down button, which I'm going to do here, it's just going to rotate on you. Now I held down on it again. It was too long. It's only going to 
uh, rotate. If I tap it, now I get up and down. That took me a while to figure that one out. So if you're having that problem, just try tapping it and it will work for you. So let's go ahead and place this and let's grab our repair hammer. I'm gonna walk up and look at this piece. Now with your repair hammer, you can repair any damage that is done to any of your pieces of your building. So this uh, foundation has a health pool of 10,000 points. Um, and underneath that, it's going to show me how many stone it's going to take to repair this piece and how many wood it's going to take to repair this. And that's going to show up in red numbers. Right now, it's a zero green because this piece is not damaged. Now, you can get damage from enemies or by decaying. And decaying happens when you're on a server. When you're single player, you don't need to deal with decay or worry about it. Underneath that is stability. This piece has 100% stability. And then it has a, a stability loss multiplier of one. And again, that happens with uh, servers and tells me who owns it, et cetera, et cetera. So we're going to pop this piece up. And when you want to remove a piece, all you do is hit down on your square button and you want to hold down on it. It's going to bring up this menu. You can either cancel the action or you can remove this piece. And when you do, you can see on the right hand side, it gave me back all the pieces that it took to make this. Now, this is something that's new before it only gave you some of the pieces that you used. So this is really big. You don't have to go out and, and when you've made a mistake, uh, get more because uh, you've lost some of those pieces. So let's go ahead and bring the foundation piece up again. And I'm going to make this a little bit higher, like right there. And now we're going to put a wall piece on there. As you can see, I'm scrolling over to the piece I want. Just hit the X button and there it is. Now you can see this is not facing me. There's a little arrow that points towards me and it says outer facing, which means that's the outside of the wall. It is facing me. If I want to turn it around so that I have the uh, um, inside wall facing me and the arrow will point the other way, I can do that by hitting the R2 or the L2. Yeah. So let's go ahead and place that. Now let's get out our repair hammer and we're going to check the stability of this wall and the stability of this wall is 100% just like the foundation. So again, let's take out our repair hammer. Now we want to put a ceiling piece up here because we're going to make a little house here. And now let's climb up here and take out our repair hammer. And as you can see, we've lost some stability. We've only got 80 stability now, 80% with the ceiling tile. So let's go ahead and place some more and see what happens here. Now, as you can see, this building piece is not green, it's yellow. The next one is orange. And the last one is red. And beyond that, we cannot place any more pieces. And the reason for this, if we take out our little, whoops, I'm gonna get out of this first, our repair hammer, the stability of this one is 80. The next one is 60. The next ceiling tile is 40. And this one is 20. So it's lost a lot of stability. So the further away you go from the last foundation, the more these ceiling tiles are going to lose stability. Yeah. In order to get that stability back, you need to connect that piece to the ground. And the way to do that is to again grab foundation pieces and we're going to place them all the way until we get underneath this ceiling piece and then we're going to grab a pillar and we're going to set that underneath this ceiling tile and connect the ceiling tile to the ground with this foundation piece so now if we go up here with our, whoops, wrong hammer here, our repair hammer, we can see this one still has 80. This one has 60, but now we're going back up to 80 and this one has 100% stability. Now you're going to notice this when you start building tall and you try to place roof pieces and they won't place for you. 
it's going to drive you crazy. You don't know why they're not placing. Well, they're not placing because just like going horizontal, when you go vertical, they will also lose stability. Yeah, so you're going to need to place foundations underneath uh, any ceiling tile that's lost its stability. So in this case, we can put this one right on top of that pillar and keep going up. And that will hold stability for all these other pieces. And it will also allow us to build out beyond this piece. So you see now this piece has green, yellow, orange, and red. And then I can't place anymore. If I want to go further, I've got to extend my foundations underneath and put a pillar in. Yeah, that's how stability works. And again, you're going to notice it more when you try to put in uh, roof pieces later on. Now, if you can't find where, once you get, say, two floors up, you don't know where your pillar is underneath. Let's put in a pillar like right here. And say you're like two or three stories up. You don't know where that pillar is. All you need to do is take out your repair hammer. And see this has a stability of 80. This has a stability of 100. And this one has a stability of 80. So this one has 100. You know that that's where your pillar is. Because that's connecting you to the ground. So all you need to do is put a pillar on top of that pillar. Yeah. And that's how you do that. Now to remove building pieces, again, all you need to do is hit your square and remove that. Now, as you can see, I lost those out there, but we still have those. This is the last foundation piece that is holding all of this up. So if I remove that, I'm going to lose everything, but I got all the materials back it took to make all of those. Yeah. That's really, really nice. That is a uh, great feature of 3.0. So let's go ahead and build us our first little house here. So let's hit our down directional, tap it. And let's raise this up. And let's put this like right here. Let's go ahead and place that. Now when you're building, you want to do odd numbers. Um, for your building foundations. And the reason uh, I like to do that is because you can always center doors, gates, windows, anything when you have an odd number. If I had just two foundations, my doorway is going to be to the side one way or the other. But when I build with three or five, I'm always going to be able to put the door in the center of the building if I so choose. So let's go ahead and put in our doorway here. Let's snap that in. And let's put a window on each side. And let's put a window in the center of the room on each side. And then we've got to go ahead and fill in with a plain wall. Whoop, what happened to that one? Where did I put it? Oh, I guess I didn't snap it all the way. Oh, see what it did. Let me show you something, guys. Because I snapped that on top of the window, it just replaced the frame, the window frame. So nice thing about these, I can pop out this window frame here. You can see that little arrow. Can you see it? Now I'm hitting my uh, R2 and that's flipping that panel to uh, outer and reverse. So you can see that little arrow. You can just barely see it. See it sticking out there. So I know it's facing the right direction for me. And I can just pop it in there just like that. And there it is. Yeah, that's really nice. I did not have to take that down. All I needed to do was put the piece I wanted on top of it and it replaced it. So let's go ahead and put these in. Now I ran out of pieces. So let's check our hammer to see what we're missing. We are missing stone. You can see that it's in red on the right hand side. So we need to grab some more stone. Now again, I can do all this without actually dropping my hammer. So let's put those pieces in. 
And then I highly recommend you go up two stories high with a building because it just gives you uh, more room inside. There's nothing to say that you can't do one. You can, but this just gives you more room. So let's go ahead and put in our second floor here. And then of course we could put in ceiling tiles. Now, if you want your ceiling tiles to all face the same way, you can use your R2 or L2 again to flip these. So we want them all going in that direction. Oops, get it the right way here. And as you can see, I got my journey feet for making my first shelter. So once you have that in, now you're going to want to put a roof on. So let's go to our roof pieces. And as you can see, that's in red and I'm missing the branches. So let's get into our little box here and let's grab our branches. And now the pieces that I want are the sloped piece. So I am going to climb up here. So you can do all this while you have your hammer out. Now with my R2, I can flip this to either side of this piece and I want it there. Place that there. Now I'm going to give you two styles to finish off a roof. Now if this one is not going the right way and I can't do it with my uh, L2 or, or um, R2, just walk around until it faces where you want it to and then go ahead and hit that. So for this piece, uh, I want to use the sloped corner, um, roof corner, the thatched sloped roof corner. So let's go ahead and hit our X button. We've got that. And again, move that into place. Then we need to grab another sloped and put that there. Now we can climb up here. Oops, get up there. Oh, nope, not going to let me do it that way. See if we can climb out here because you can stand on these roofs while you're building which is very very helpful of course so to end this side we're going to need the thatch rooftop end so let's get that and let's rotate that until it fits correctly and then we want the rooftop the thatch rooftop piece and there we go let's rotate that till it's in the right spot so now we have three sloping sides on, excuse me, this side of the build. And on this side, we have this open area. So to enclose that, what you need to do is grab a wall piece and pop that there. Then you need to get a left and right sloping sandstone wall. Do not use the inverted because those are designed to, we'll show you what those do. Those go out that way. That's what those are designed to do, and they will not go in the other direction. So make sure that you are getting just the left and right sloping sandstone pieces. So we want to pop that one in there. You know you have the right one when it says outer facing. And then we want to grab the wall cap. And that finishes that off really nicely. Now, again, if you want, say, a window up there, you think a window up top would be nice, this is all you have to do. You can just barely see that arrow in that green, but you can see the arrow is pointing towards me. So I have it outer facing. So go ahead and I'll go ahead and hit your R1. And that pops that window piece right in there. Yeah, really nice. So now if you want to put a little porch on your house, you want to come back with some foundations here. And of course we want a door, so let's go ahead and make a door. Now as you can see, you can change which way the door handle is on. I want it on the right hand side because it's on the outside, so go ahead and do that. And then to make a roof, we want to grab the thatched roof piece and we want to put it up here. Go three across. And then we want to grab some ceiling pieces and put those underneath. And then again, we're going to do 
the left and right sloping. Now this is the wrong one, the wrong side. So we're going to put this on this side. And then we'll grab this one for this side. And then we're going to put some pillars underneath our porch. Now, if you notice, pillars will only place in the center of a foundation. But if you want that to come out to the end, all you have to do is build some stairs. So we need some more stone here. We don't have any more. So let's get out of our hammer. We got a handy little stone right here. So let's go ahead and take this one. All right, so now we can build some stairs. So in order to get that, that pillar to uh, be at the end of this foundation, you want to put some stairs down. Pick up this pillar. Grab another one here. And as you can see, now it's going to place right at the top of the stairs. So go ahead and place that. Then you can turn around and pick up the stairs and the pillar will stay in place. The only problem with this is that you cannot put a fence there. So if you want railings or a fence around your porch you're not going to be able to do that with that foundation with that pillar there you can place it here but not in the front so again i must be out of what am i out of more stone oh my goodness here we go let's grab some more stone then right here And there you go. And then we can add some stairs. Again, we need more stone. Plenty of resources in this little area. I like this area very, very much. Let me show you where I am on the map, by the way. I am right here on the New River. This is where my game started, right here. So I moved to this area. So let's go ahead and put some stairs in. And voila, our first little home. Easy peasy, guys. It's, it's a lot of fun. Uh, this is the building in Conan Exiles is wonderful. Very easy to use. And these are new improvements that it, they have made with 3.0 make it even more fun. There is another feature, uh, which is, is creative mode. And I'll talk to you about that at a in another video because that is uh, very involved. And that is where you can build without using any building materials at all. You are free to create without any encumbrance at all. So we'll get into that at another time. But if you liked, give me that big old like. And if you would like to see more, just subscribe. And if you hit that little bell, you'll be notified when I post my next video. Well, all right, guys, thank you so much for watching. And until next time, GG out.